Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at how to change the settings on our keyboard. What we've been noticing is that a lot of times whenever students are using their iPad device, they will have their keyboard in different locations. Now, as you can see on the screen right now, my keyboard is as it is normally. It's down at the bottom, it's in a full screen view. Now, if I wanted to change that, I'm going to hold down on that keyboard icon that's a icon with the rectangle, the squares, and the filled in rectangle down at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. When I'm holding down, I'll see three different options that show up, undock, split, and floating. Now, if I pull my finger up, I can choose any of those items to select. So most often we see that students have put their keyboard into undock, which means that it's kind of in the middle of our screen. It's not necessarily down at the bottom. We'll also see that the keyboard is split, which means that it's split into two different pieces. Now, if it's floating, that means that the keyboard is in a location where I can move it around the screen. Each one is nice to have the option to do, but if I wanted to get it out of floating, I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to pull my thumb and my pointer finger apart so that my keyboard expands. If your keyboard is stuck in the undock location, all that I'm going to do is click on that keyboard icon again and pull my finger up to dock. Now, if your iPad is stuck in split, all that you do is take your right pointer finger and your left pointer finger and swipe them together. And then I can redock my keyboard. So those are some of the different options that you have on your keyboard. However, you would like to have your keyboard set up is completely your choice. But a lot of times our learners will accidentally undock their keyboard or split it or do things that we may not have actually wanted to do. Thank you all for watching. I sure appreciate your time. Have a great day.